Hello everyone, um, my name is Lee O'Brien, um, Dragon Rick, well, you know, you know who I am, um, we're doing a, com a review talking about the Legend of the Guardian soundtrack, um, so yeah, um, so yeah, um, oh, for the, so I'm with uh, a guy, he's after all the Dragon Warriors, once he gets the Meme Lord, aka James, he's gonna kill off me. And he's going to kill me off now. I'm just kidding. Uh, introduce yourself, uh, Tidal Albasorn. Hey, guys. It's me. Uh, my name is Mike. Uh, I'm 15. And I'm... Well, you all don't know me because I'm, I, I'm not that popular. I have I only have 17 subs on my uh, YouTube channel. And it's kind of empty, actually. Hopefully, you'll get more after this uh, review. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um. All right. Um. And I'm also burning. Um. Avatar: The Last Airbender, the first ten episodes on DVD. So that'll take a while. So I'm gonna do this as well as that's burning. So. Um. So yeah. Um. So yeah. We're rev we're doing. Um. I did the commentary for the film itself, and now I'm gonna talk about the soundtrack. Um. Legend of the Guardians. And um, this is the soundtrack. Um, so yeah. Um, all right. Um, okay. I just got a message off Harry. He said he might not be able to join because he's doing a review. So I, uh, I'll just say you can join when when you're done when you're fin done your review, if you'd like. Um, so yeah. Um, the first track. Uh, basically, what this is gonna be. This is gonna be like um, the uh, con like the one I did before where I just talk about like we talk about each track and how it fits with the scene and uh, the first track is um, the main theme of the movie it's um, Flight Home so I like this track um, it kind of yeah. reminds me of How to Train Your Dragon a little bit um, it really fits the tone of Gahul and it fits um, the, t the theme of the movie and it's a, just a great um, um, like it's it's a great um track as a whole. I think it's a nice music track. Um and I like um how um it fits the tone of the scene and what do you think of it? It's really good. I I, I do love it. Uh it really uh really gives you the feel, you know. I love them like, how Anima you you know um Anima, the guy who reviewed the Yeah, film? yeah, yeah. He uh, uh -huh. used the theme at the beginning of it. I like how he used it. It kind of reminds me of Kung Fu Panda mm -hmm. with the dong dong when you when, before you, the title comes up in the film. And I like how it begins off with the old fashioned style music where it's just in the top of the morning. And I like I like um that scene as a whole, or it could be the sunset. I, I don't know honestly, but um I yeah. like how um. It's, I like how in the scene Noctis is just flying through like um, 3D sequences, which is amazing. Yeah. Well done. One of Warner Brothers' best intros. Um, it's ten out of ten. One of their best. Oh, I think they're brilliant intros. Um, Happy Feet. Well, Happy Feet in TMNT 2007 kind of had the typical intro. Like they used the main. Um. um it's kind of like the thing, um, like it's kind of like, um, like you know the way you know some of the DreamWorks films, like Over the Hedge, Madagascar. The DreamWorks intro is just the same old intro. Yeah. It's kind of like that, but here they actually made up like their own, which I like how when companies mm -hmm. do that because it just proves you're not lazy. Like I'm not saying they're lazy. But yeah. <laughs> I think it's good to use like make up the film themed intro. I like how it's yeah. really styled as a Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, because that's what this film kind of is. It's a book yeah. adaptation, and they even did it with the Lego movies. So, um, so yeah, um, all right, um, the next, and um, yeah, so is that all you? And do you have anything else to say, um, title? No. I said no. Sorry. I said no. Oh, okay. Um, the next track we have um, is taken to St. Julie's, and this is when Soren and Claude, I was about to say Soren and Gilfie, um, 
yeah, Soren and Klug get kidnapped. And what I like about this scene, it um kind of reminds me of Happy Feet, like how you see different penguins and different owls. And it's kind of like in it's kind of like the Lego movie. You see a b- b- bunch of different Lego people. See, like I think um, Legend of the Guardians, Happy Feet, and the Lego movies are the best Warner Brothers movies because for one, they introduce like so many different kind of people or animal, and I like how um Warner Brothers did that. But then again, I'm not. I I can't really credit um Warner Brothers. I have to credit Lasky. Well, I can cut it both, really, but Lasky did a good job yeah. um, doing, like, um, putting, like, a bunch of different birds, well, owls, really, but you do get other creatures, like the echidna. Um, oh, did you know that the echidna is actually a real animal? Yes, I've seen I've, I've seen an echidna before. Have you actually? I remember seeing, I've yeah. seen a hedgehog, but I've never seen an echidna. Uh, they'll probably introduce an echidna in the Kung Fu Panda films eventually, but yeah. um, what I like, and I like how um, when we get to St. Julie's, and I, li- I like how I like how it just goes this really dark, creepy style yeah. music, yeah. Um, like, if you get what I mean, and mm-hmm. uh, I like how they up the antics, and this is what I have to give David Hurtisper, I can't pronounce his se- second name, uh, credit he did a good job doing the soundtrack and i think he he can even ha- rival up with Hans zimmer you know Hans zimmer david right? Hirsch, david Hirschfeld. yeah the soundtrack composer yeah and i think uh, he can rival bet- han zimmer with uh the kung fu panda movies yeah and i think um so yeah um the next yeah, but um, I like taking to St. Julie's, and I'm going to let you speak out your thoughts. Well, it is a very good song. I do love it. Like, uh, like the part when they were branching, uh, how do you say it? Like, God, how do you say it? Uh, it really gives you that, like, kind of high power kind of vibe, you know? Yeah, I can get what you mean. Yeah. Um... But yeah, that's really all I have to do. Is that all you have to say before we move on? Or uh, That's it. All right. Um, okay, so we got um, Welcome to the Palatorium, which is when um, Soren they were brought to uh, the reflects and Naira teaches mm-hmm. like the the tight ty- like the Baron I'll say, oh you shouldn't be ashamed of what's going on down there. You know, you're their lower species user, higher level. And I kind of, I kind of like how, mm-hmm. um, I like that concept. The villains have to get someone higher to be like a villain. Kind of like saying, oh, you have to be the strongest uh, warrior um, to be um, a vill- to be an enemy. Um, and that's what Kuro kind of is. But I like the track. Um, I love when you see Soren like, going up to the like get, get putting a fleck or a pellet into um um i like how um like you like i love how it kind of gives that dark feel to it and i like how um it kind of you kind of feel you get worried about the characters and you really feel oh we actually feel and it really it, but it can kind of make you depressed as well because like the start of the film is Kind of like this bit in particular is kind of the most depressing bit of the movie, but then again, it kind of is like that kind of movie. I think the first half is kind of like a lot more depressing, and the second half is kind of a lot more like serious and fun, if you get me. But I like this track as a whole. Yeah. I'm gonna um, let you speak out your thoughts. Like the opening, uh, the the opening part. How do you say? Like it, it, it really gives you the chills, you know, when you uh, like it, it has this like dark tone kind of thing. Yeah, like, like, it's, yeah like it sends you ch- chills down your spine. Mhm, I do, I do agree. With you. and I like how um, I like how the the um, what I love about um, Welcome to the Paratorium is that it um, it's a night. It's just so, it's so cool though. Um, yeah. yeah. I think it's like in most movies like this, they kind of have a bit of a dark opening, but then 
uh, the second half can be a bit more like happy, but it's not yeah. like, happy, happy. It's not like um, frozen. Uh, anyway, that's one thing for sure. Yeah. But um, yeah, the next track we have is A Long Way to the Guardians. And this is, I believe, when uh, Grimble and Naira start off fighting. And um, Grimble tells them, oh, his backstory. No, I don't think it's his backstory, but I think it's when um, they start fighting. And I like what I like about it. It kind of reminds me of um, My Soldiers, My Sons, which is towards, which is when yeah. Sonic defeats Sutar or Metal Beak or whatever you want to call him. And I like how, um, I like how, um, like how serious um, the Naira and Grimble fight and when Claude yeah. um, like starts saying, I am home and betrays his family. Like that is some, some balls for an anime. Yeah, yeah. Film. And the way it's executed is really damn deep. Like, usually when it's a whole brother story, it's just like, oh, they're kind of like the mentors. Or they used to be friends, now they're enemies. Yeah, they're enemies. They kind of show on, like, why Claude turned evil, like, why he turned against them. And what do you have to say about this track? Hello? Uh... You there? Yeah. Yeah, and what do you have to say about this? It it's really cool though. Like uh, like somewhat somewhat half half of, uh, half uh, through the song, it kind of gives you like the how do you say like some kind of like an oh shit kind of vibe. Yeah, you know? I can get I can get yeah like oh shit. I yeah, you just gonna go sour. Yeah, and you worry for, like, the characters, and that's one thing I have to give Warner Brothers credit. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, you actually... Wow, he actually turned up against his own family, like, Claude, specifically. It's kind of like Shen. Yeah. Shen turned up against his parents, and, yeah. like, the his parents banished him, and his parents couldn't handle him being gone, and they died, obviously, because of a heart attack, probably. <coughs> but, um, you okay? Yeah. And um, I, I like um, A Long Way to the Guardians, and I like, it's pretty much, mm -hmm. um, I, I love I love all the soundtracks in the film. I think David did a good job. Um, I'll talk about conclusion towards the end. Um, yeah, like, almost all of the songs are, are actually, uh, like, action-packed, you know? Yeah, true, actually. It's true. Oh, Jesus, we're actually really, really halfway. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's quick. <laughs> um, yeah, so the next one we have is you know you know we're flying. You, I think if you've seen the film, you know what this is. Um, I think this is one of the most happier scenes of the uh -huh. film, and um, it shows um Soren and Goofy. Um, it kind it's of developed the first their time. chemistry um a little bit, and I like how it kind of lightens up the atmosphere. But then, you obviously, you get the bit with uh, Naira saying, oh, Grimble's death was unfortunate, yeah. that you had a chance to follow your brother, but yet you didn't. Yeah, you didn't, yeah. I think you want, deserve to stay, and Claude wants to stay. And then Claude says, oh, I'll bring over Eglantine for you. And what I like yeah, I... is that it kind of starts off happy, but then also serious. I think all the tracks... Uh, like it just like uh yeah you know, like it turns real fast you know it does yeah and i like how kind of uh, similar like similar it's similar to uh flight home the main theme of the movie um mm. it says on the actually, track, guardian theme so it probably is um, yeah. actually the what, what i realized about this about all the songs is that like uh somewhat almost all the songs uh they always have these like uh, the, the same theme you know like the same opening theme. Yeah, I, I do agree yeah. with you. They're both. Um, you know, but, but you know, like where it goes like da 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 da, da like that. Mhm. Mm yeah, I get, I get what you mean. But um, what is and do you have anything to say about you know we're fine? No, I just said it. <laughs> All right. Um, the next track we have is the boy was right. Um, I think the boy was right. Is that when 
I know, like, they say that when, like, obviously, Alamir is with the two Guardians, but... Do is this the bit where they'd be, um... Um... Grimble? I mean, Digger and Twilight? Oh, no, this, uh, this, that's the song where, uh, where they, uh, saw Born for the first time, you know? When they were flying oh. through the blizzard. I, hang on, I think I might, I think I have to go to, hang on. It says it on the Google page, but, hang on, let me go to the Wikipedia. That has, um, all the soundtrack, um, oh, yeah, you know we're flying, and um, we've got, um a friend or two which um you were having an issue with the other day yeah yeah it's blocked in my country yeah i can't i couldn't find it no i'm sorry i couldn't send you all of it um (laughs) yeah i could i I could email it to you but that would take a really long time Um, Uh but then again you can listen to it in the film or you could probably like get something on like google or something or you can like paste on google chrome or computer but yeah a friend or two what i like about it's kind of the most happiest of all the tracks um it um like start it kind of um it's when digger and twilight meet up with sarn and gilfy and i love how um like digger is just kind of like he's kind of a bit of a dick at the start yeah like they kind of make he's like this Lots yeah, he's like this, uh, like, Gilfy, uh, sorry, no, D- Digger and Twilight are like these, you know, they're like the two comic relief slash annoying characters in every movie. Yeah, Animat said that as well. There are times when they're funny, but also times when they can be annoying. What? Yeah, yeah. and I think um, it's interesting to see, like, how many likable characters start off, like, yeah. like likable, because um, have you seen, you've seen the Toy Story movies and in Inside Out, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I just you know I haven't yeah. seen Inside Out. Sorry, I haven't seen in- Inside Out. I only watched Toy Story. Oh, Inside Out's quite good. Um, yeah, yeah. great movie actually. Um, but yeah, the main <laughs> character of Inside Out and Woody, um, were st- were supposed to be really unlikable characters, and Poe from Kung Fu Panda was going. Oh yeah, to- he was supposed to be a dick. Like, yeah, like he was going to be a douche. Yeah, and um. I think a lot of main characters like start off like as a dick in the script writing, but they change it because obviously you can't really have a uh, prick as the main protagonist. You have to have something mm-hmm. likable. True. But, but on to Digger, I like how he kind of starts off being like unlikable and rude to Sarn and Gilfy, but then Twilight yeah. comes in and he's kind of like the Dumbo of the group, and I, I think I think they are quite funny. Like Twilight goes mm-hmm. from br- grooms and m- bruised and maimed, and I yeah, love, yeah. <laughs> I love how he just, like, <laughs> I love Twilight songs, and I love the one yeah. where they're singing when um I, I love when Twilight goes as the night falls, so do we, and then obviously the final battle, which I'll get to in a bit, but all yeah, the songs are the, so, uh, so like the, like that like that song. I real I realized something he said. As the night falls, we fall asleep. But owls are nocturnal. They wake up at night. They don't sleep at night. Yeah, that was something I get confused. Like, can they... <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, but that here's a good thing. Some <laughs> can actually come at day. It's like, what? what? And like, obviously, if you've seen, like, the, like I've seen you at the start of the movie. Um, well, the, no, it was in book one. I forgot to say to people, actually. <laughs> they say good light, meaning that when yeah, they're good light. They're sleeping. Yeah, it's in the morning. It's in the morning, like daytime. Oh, they want to sleep. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. I, I don't know. I get confused by that, but I, think <laughs> Twi- I love how I love how Twilight just starts singing, and it's just so yeah. laughable. And yeah, um, it's like yeah. you know one of those characters like it's gonna sing. I was like, oh no, please don't, just don't. Yeah, and then Sarah's just like, oh, please, please, no, you're going to have to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, and then, of course, there's when Claude meets up with Metal Beak. What, what, and then what I like about that bit, what, what you can see in Claude 
you can even see that he's like nervous, like like gulping. Yeah. He doesn't want to be yeah. near metal. Beam. Like you can kind of, this, you can kind yeah. of like, when they were when they were closing the um like when they were flying to Metal Beak, the song just picks up like slowly, you know. Go, you there? Lee. I'll I'll speak out. Um, but yeah, what I oh. like about this scene is that you can kind of see that um Claude is kind of shocked. Yeah, he was nervous. He exists. Yeah, it's you like, can see oh, him shaking. Shit. It's true. Yeah, like. Yeah. And I just re- I just realized like, like, that today actually, and I like how he just goes up really nervous, and then yeah, it's like, like yeah, you, soldier, step forward. It's like uh. <laughs> Then Metal Beak just goes, Yes, you're right to be afraid in my presence. What is that? <laughs> Claude? Speak, Claude? Up. Speak up! Hello? Hello? Oh, no. Sorry about that. Hello? Hello, yeah. Sorry about that. Was, some, was yeah. someone called you? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I like how Metal Beak actually goes, oh, speak up, playing Claude. My name is Claude. Yeah. And um, yeah. I like how um, I like how he just shows, like, nervous, and Claude goes, we are titles. We'll never yeah. fail. But um, what I like, I really like how Metal Beak... But, do you hang on, do you think Metal Beak is a good villain? Because a lot of people think like uh, he's really weak. Uh, I do. How do I say? It? How do I say? It? Like I do uh, agree. Like agree, but another part of me likes like like nah. It just, I don't agree with it. I think he could have had a bit more screen time though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, like I, I do have like Tai Long with, from uh, Panda. He doesn't yeah. have as much screen time as you'd expect. Like the way but here's built. the difference. But here's the difference. Tai Long mm-hmm. actually fights. Tai Long, Tai Long actually fights. Whereas yeah, true. Uh, yeah, Metal Beak just like he's commanding uh, his army to go to go front. You know, like, it's like I'm staying here. You go. Yeah, true. And I like yeah, but then again, like I think the way they built both villains up are meant to be like yeah. really really threatening like i i do think tai long is a good villain but uh-huh. um he just needs a bit more development but then again i'm not on about kung fu panda i'm on about metal mm-hmm. beak but i do think metal beak is a good good villain like i think he's fantastic and i he think is, um, yeah. he is like he has an amazing death scene which is absolutely in- insane but yeah I like not, how, not, but I do agree with them. Um, some like I can see why you would uh-huh. be, some call him. Oh, he, you're a joke. You do absolutely fuck all. And mm-hmm. what I like, and then of course, but um, yeah, but that's all. Uh, yeah, I have a lot to say about a friend or two. The next track we have. Um, wait, is there anything you want to say or? No, no. All right. Oh Jesus Christ! We are nearly finished. Are we? Yeah, we're on the boy. Oh, we are. Holy shit, this is short. Holy fuck. Um, there's only six more tracks. Huh? Yeah, there's 14 of them. We're on track eight. Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what well, a short soundtrack, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but uh-huh. um, next track is um, The Boy Was Right. Um. This is bit when Soren. This is the bit where they meet up with the uh, the guardians, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What I love about this track is when Soren sees the guardians. You can really see the emotions on his character. Yeah. That yeah, like, like, actually, like his amazement. Like, yeah, his his amazement is like they're real. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't yeah, believe it's, it. It's kind of, 
Yeah, it is kind of. Although you could all, yeah, but like I can see someone saying, "Oh, it's just the generic whole dream world." Uh-huh. But then again, yeah. you could say that about Kung Fu Panda as well. Mm-hmm. That has the similar story, but you can really see in Soren, like you can really see, like in his eyes yeah. as well, that he's also like, "Wow, like, this is it!" Like he's not all yeah. like, "Oh my god, oh my god." Yeah, he's he's, all, he's, he's, like, he's like, like, yeah, he's well. shocked. You can see oh, the shock on his face. Yeah, like that. Oh my God, you are real. Yeah. Oh my God, this is this is what. And you can really see, like, when he's entering Gahul, and the music yeah. is fucking uh-huh. beautiful. It is. Yeah, like the. Like the choir. Uh. <coughs> ah, oh, it is an amazing. Oh yeah, I forgot you're ill. And I love how. Sauron just goes, oh my god, you see all the guardians, you see all these different owls. Uh-huh. This is this is where the owl kingdoms... I have a bit of a theory, though. When the owl kingdoms are free, like from the pure ones, do they uh-huh. have to live in Gahul, where their old kingdom isn't safe anymore? Oh, yeah. I think so. I, I actually oh, didn't think that about that. Well. Yeah. That's, that's actually good. <laughs> I, wonder how Gahul, I wonder how long Gahul is from um, the title forest. Yeah, you can actually like uh, see the map on uh, the novels itself. Like, I might have to take a look at that. Um, yeah. Which is in the original maybe, book. I'm sure maybe in the, maybe in the editing, book. it's like... Maybe in the editing, maybe in the uh, editing you just go... Take a screenshot of the map and they just put it on the screen while we're talking about it. You mean and Shama Todd, I don't know how to Jamie Todd when he put an editor's face cam. Huh? You mean, oh Jamie too. Yeah. <laughs> we got the fire, we got the fun. We're gonna make you help out. But uh, Oh yeah, that wraps uh, yeah, that rap. Uh but yeah, um yeah, but what I like, yeah, but like it is so beautiful. And what, mm-hmm. although I kind of what I, and then I'll see you see. Although here is a good question about um when Soren meets up with the Guardians. There's one little nitpick I have. Is how like what about Grimble? What about he never mentioned Grimble, like oh. Oh yeah, actually. Yeah, he never mentioned um, yeah. Grimble at all, like, and he has a family, didn't he? Grimble's family. Oh, yeah. I have a theory, but what if Metalbeak? Like this bit of a theory. Um. Also, I have a bit of a theory for Naira, which I'll talk about at the towards the end of the reviews of the soundtrack. Right. But um, what if Metalbeak actually said, "Oh, you can do your dirty work, and you can you have your family back." Obviously, since Metal Beak is a villain, you know what villains do. They Metal kill them Beak off. Could have killed his family. Shh. Oh my god. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, I I've actually read in the books uh, that I don't know. Maybe maybe he killed them, or maybe just you know, half moon blinked. But in the books, uh, when Grimble returned, when Grimble, uh, you know, he returned to his hollow. His family weren't there anymore. They're gone. They're missing. That actually does. That says something. That really does say something. That yeah, yeah, yeah. His family's dead. Which really, uh, oh, Jesus. Um, they actually, yeah. they actually feel sorry for the characters. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Her back and his backstory. Poor guy. Is terrifying. Like, uh, it's just sad to see how, um. Oh, he had to do this just to get his family back, which is yeah, just to and, like, keep his family like safe. Grimble, like oh, I love how I love how, um, which I said in the film commentary, how he creeps on Soren and uh, Gilfy that oh, you're doomed. You're gonna be you're, you're yeah yeah. Well, like out. like but, as soon as come as soon as he comes out, like uh like, and and what exactly are you doing? Eh? I was like oh shit. They're dead. Yeah, and you actually think that. Obviously, if you've seen it uh-huh. for the first time, you obviously think that. But 
No, he actually yeah. teaches them to fly, which I thought yeah. that is quite cool. Um, uh -huh. But um, I do have, but um, yeah, but that's all I have to say about the boy was right. Bit of a theory. Mm -hmm. Might make a video about it. Maybe Grimble's family yeah. dead, and Grimble himself, which would be quite ballsy. But yeah, um, do you have anything you want to say? No. All right. Um. All right, uh, the boy was right. Um, the next soundtrack we have is um, Sharpen the Battle Claws. Um, six minutes, Jesus. Is this when, would this be when um, uh, Alamir goes out and then Sorin and uh, the others start training? I think so. Hold on. Probably. We'll just say it is. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably when. I'm actually, I'm actually playing the song right now on my phone. It is, it is, okay. It is when uh, yeah, um, I was arrived in uh, yeah, San Eugenius. Um, what I like about Sharp and the Battle Claws, um, what I love about it is that it kind of feels, it's kind of one of the light, like when they get to Gahul, it really is the most light-hearted moment of the film, along yeah. with the very beginning. It feels, mm. I think, like a very less serious of the film. They don't take, like, yeah. that's just so light compared to what the rest of the movie is, apart from the uh -huh. ending, obviously. But I love how you actually have hope for our characters and how we have hope for our dark family film and how we have uh -huh. um, hope for the characters in a dark movie. But, um, yeah, but what have you got to say about it? Uh, I think it's good. Yeah, and I love um, the bit when they actually do sharpen the battle claws, Bubo sharpen the battle claws, two arms, yeah. two arms. And I love yeah. the bit when they start sharpening, put on the armor. Reminds The music reminds me of How to Train Your Dragon. It is so, so good. Um, I love the track as a whole. It really, in fact, thinking about it, you know the way the trailers don't only show like the first two acts. They don't show much of Gahul or the third act. Mm -hmm. That's actually good. Um, they're actually you're actually not ruining in the film. You're actually just showing yeah. off like what happens in the beginning. Yeah, but then when the movie came out, it got mixed reviews, and no sequel has been made or announced. Um, yeah. Which pisses me off. Well, ignore that bullshit with the critics. <laughs> the <teen laughs> fuckers fuck up the movies. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you got ninety one. You should check it out. It's so funny. Um, yeah, I, I will. I will. I'm my screenshot screen share when we're finished. But um, yeah. But um, I love um Sharp and the Battle Claws and yeah. But like, what I like about it is that um. When you watch the movie for the first time, yeah, you're, you're having so much fun. Like there's so much to the movie, and there's yeah. so much to it. Like it feels longer than an hour and a half. It actually, feels like uh -huh. two hours. Yeah, but then when you look at it, it's like, oh, it's one and a half hours. Yeah, but that's kind of good. I actually miss those kind of movies where they have such a yeah. big third act, and you're having like a lot of fun. There's actually there's actually a lot of scenes that are cut. If you don't know, yeah, I know from, from the, the movie. trailers, but then again, the trailers do that a lot. But, um, like, yeah, there's a like, uh, like there's a video on YouTube that I saw, uh, like that shows, uh, like a few, like, I think it was four scenes uh, from the movie, and then the rest is just like it shows pictures from the concept art from the books, you know, yeah, the concept and actually. I heard that, that's someone a say in the art, someone said that they say something in the art book, they will return to Gahul eventually. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably when they had planned. Like, I uh -huh. want, like I want, but I'll talk about the sequel when we get close to the end. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, that's all I have to say about this track. Um, the next one we have is, holy shit, follow the whales, Finn. We're actually getting so, so close. Yeah. Jesus Christ, this went quick. Actually, I need to check how long this thing's been going on for. Um, <laughs> yeah, but follow 30 the minutes? Been, 
I believe this is the big climatic battle. I love this track. I love how um, Sorin goes off and does his fire technique. Oh shit, we've been only going for like 37 minutes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jeez. And I like how, um, like, so, like I love how the, the band, like, and then you see Sorin. Oh, he has easel ribs, that uh, claw that he gave him. He's gonna, he's mm. gonna be a badass. And I actually asked yeah. my friend the other day, Harry, what do you think the moral of the movie is? Well, know what he said. The what? The moral, like the message of it. <laughs> what? Moral? No moral. A oh, moral. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I was like, what? That- Moral would be message of the film, like oh. I know, I know, I I know what a moral is. Yeah, but Harry. I just misheard it. Um, my guess the moral would of the movie would be, be a badass. <laughs> I just started laughing when he said, "Oh, he's no, it's not." But he was actually being serious. Yes. So like, that be that's actually yes, yeah, suppose it is true actually. Hmm. But um. But yeah, I like Follow the Whales, Finn. It shows a lot of the final battle. Well, not, well, we will. I'll, actually, no, we'll talk about Follow the Whales, Finn, and my soul, and Hello, and Into Battle um, in the same, like, kind of track, if you get me. But, um, altogether, no. it's 10 minutes. But I love these tracks. They give so much hype, so much energy uh-huh. with the battle of the movie. And they put in, yeah. like, so much... Um, like so much fight, like they put in so much effort into the world of Gahul. They put in so much energy into the final battle, and it can easily rival up with DreamWorks's battles. And I think Dream, and I think um, this can beat um DreamWorks's fight scenes. Honestly, I think um, it really um works with um, I think like the way it um. Like I think this way the battle is um all executed. I just I love it. I love how I love the final battle. And what do you think of the big final battle? The final battle? Yeah, in Legend of the Guardians. It's really cool. I do love it. Uh, like you know, movies like these, it's it's actually very very rare, very rare. You know, to have a big like, climatic battle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, agreed. Like, when was the last time we like got Like, armies versus armies, you know? Not just... Yeah. Not not like Kung Fu Panda, where, where, like, one versus a whole army, like, that's just absurd, you know? It's no, not but I mean, yeah, but like, Kung Fu Panda 2 did it. Like, when uh-huh. Panda 5 start fighting off the wolves. Yeah. And Hiccup and all the dragons starting off the evil dragons and the Furious 5. Well, Poe and the mm-hmm. pandas start fighting off the jade zombies. But um, but yeah um, yeah. But the next track. Do you want to say anything else? No. All right. Um, next track we have is um. Uh, this is I believe this is the bit where so- where Claude throws Soren in the fire. Well, not in the fire, if you get me, but into to, the To, yeah, to the tree, which is, on, which is on fire. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I love how uh, Soren and Claude just meet up. Like, Soren sees Claude, mm-hmm. oh, it's you. And then Claude just comes up screaming like an eagle, which is quite badass. They start fighting, and yeah. Claude just throws him, and he just goes... Just throws him off. brother. Yeah. Oh, it's so, so good. And um, I like how um, they just, like, saw him. You can really see, oh, it's my, oh, no, you're up to turn up against me. And then, like, you can really see that Claude is actually now against Soren. And then you uh-huh. have the easel rib and then... fight, kind of like the Thailand versus Shifu fight, but a lot more, like, violent, yeah. like, a lot more graphic. Not violent, yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, I wouldn't say violent. I'd say it's more more graphic because well, they're on the same level of violent and mature. Uh-huh. 
But um, I love the Thai Long versus Shifu fight, by the way. It is so, so good. And um, what? And then, of course, there is... Um, yeah, but I love the music where Easel Rib starts fighting off Metal Beak. And then Metal Beak, Easel Rib think he's won. But Metal Beak actually just fakes his death. And, um, and then they just... That, like, that is, that's actually, uh, you know, predictable if you think of it, you know? It's like, there's no way he, he, went, he went down that easy. He must be yeah, faking his true. death. But yeah, I suppose, yeah, that is a good point. But then, obviously, Metal B comes in, then Naira has the red eyes, and then mm-hmm. comes through, starts beating up Easel Rib. Do you know, uh, you know, there's actually, uh, there actually is a shot right before Claude, like, when he, after he says, oh, it's going to be glorious, there's actually one second where Claude actually has red eyes, the pure one eyes. Really? Yeah, it's hard to screenshot, but I will have to get a screenshot of it. But um, I love uh-huh. when Claude and Soren start fighting off. But that's in um, My Soldier's My Son. So, yeah, onto that track now. Jesus Christ, we're nearly finished. Um, <laughs> yeah. But um, My Soldier's My Son's is absolutely amazing. And I think um, with the bit when um, I love the the Claude and Soren fight, and then although if you think oh. about it, the Kung Fu Panda movies and Legend of the Guardians have a similarity where Soren's main em- enemy is Claude, who's connected to him. Ho's enemy mm-hmm. is Shen, who has a connection to his past. Shifu's enemy is Tai Long. Easel Rib's enemy is Metal Beak. Oh. Oh yeah, didn't, I actually didn't think about. It. There is a lot of similarities um between, uh-huh. them. but um I think uh, but yeah but when Soren and Claude start fighting, I love the yeah. music how it just goes oh and then Claude just goes oh and honor, honor's just another word for weakness. Then you don't know. I mean, you like know. yeah, like when you see when he said that the just the the reflection of the fire on his eyes is just. You know, gives the gives it the, the the chills, you know. Yeah, and I love um on the Blu-ray there's so much detail in the fire uh-huh. and it's so so good. And it's one of the yeah. best things I've ever seen for an animated yeah. movie. I just show imagine, how cool the cinematography is. Yeah, and, imagine uh, if they you know, this is kind of, a... no, no, now that I bring this up, it's actually kind of sad that this movie got shit on. What? You, you broke up there for a second. This movie got mixed reviews. If you think about it, like beautiful cinematography, just just why? Why does that be shit on? Yeah. Yeah. And it's just it's, oh, I bet someone's gonna say, but it's generic. Every movie is generic and can be well executed. Yeah. Uh huh. Like they say, yeah, they say the movie like oh, the movie looks like Star Wars. Like, which I do actually notice a bit, but but then again, it's a movie. They all yeah, do sure, that. You can even say the same about Ninjago, the whole Lloyd uh-huh. and Gondon situation. Yeah. Yeah, and even Kung Fu Panda and How to Train Your Dragon and all that, but but um, but yeah, that's but it's ridiculous. Like, why does why do good movies have to get so shit on a lot? Like, why? Yeah. Do you, Shark Tale, Legend of the Guardians, Rise of the Guardians. Yeah. Oh, get so much yeah. Shit on. Uh, like they make these movies, you know, you know, like, uh, like they make these movies which you love, but then like, you know, like you expect it would get, it would, it would have, you know, uh, a higher rate or higher rating and a lot of, you know, like a lot of good reviews, but then when you open up. Oh wait, it's it got shit on. Yeah, I hate seeing that. Like, but, um, why? No, sure. I mean, look at Last Airbender. I actually found something <laughs> funny between this and Last Airbender. Their source material both ended in two thousand eight, and they both got an adaptation in twenty ten. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. and also, thing, the last Airbender season finale actually came out around the same time as Kung Fu Panda 1. 
Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Well, like, I do love Less Airbender, but you know, uh, the the the, uh, the only flaw that M Night Shyamalan made was that he tried to mash one season into a into an into an another half an hour and a half movie, which obviously film. doesn't work. Yeah. No, and that came out being so messy like, and repetitive. Yeah, like from episode to episode, there's like you know there's like a, a like a time jump, and you have to make and you have to like you make it into one and a half hour movie, which really doesn't work. It's a shorter time. I completely agree with you. Um, but then again, like I suppose I, yeah, but it's not it like bombed in the the ninja it gone in the, in the box office. You didn't mash it all in. You just kind of uh-huh. made it different, which you're supposed to. But yeah. um yeah, for a show adaptation you're meant to be different. And mm-hmm. um so yeah, um but yeah, um the the the, the track what do you think of the track where Sorn and Claude are fighting? Sorn and Claude are fighting? Yeah, and then Sorn is oh. to save Easel Rib. How do I say it? Uh like you know when uh, when the part where Claude you know dies dies under fire, mm-hmm. like God, how do you, how do you say it though? Uh, like it, you know, like you could just see you know like Sorn's uh, like the Sorn's pain on his face, you know, seeing his brother die on the. Yeah, you know, on the fire. And then when he sees Metal Beak fighting his yeah, his, his teacher, he, he went mad. He just like, just oh, he's I'm not ra- he him, raged. I'm not yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Uh. And I love it's just like when you watch it, when you watch those scenes mm-hmm. alone. Why did yeah. why did this movie get a shitty score? Why did teen fuckers fuck up the movies get a higher score? <laughs> That's a good point. I think. I think the you know the the main thing where me Legend Guardians got most views is uh a people say it looks like Star Wars again and number two uh cliches which I completely disagree you know a lot of movies do that and then like number three. When, like when I when I scroll, when I, uh, when I was looking at the Rotten Tomatoes, there's actually like a few uh, comments where they say, you know, that their kids like like you know it's like oh I don't want to watch it you know, and and they just completely like f off you know like fuck off. Yeah, well, it is P and it's PG, uh-huh. so obviously they rate films it's... PG for reasons. <laughs> uh huh. And like Kung Fu Panda 2, How to Train Dragon 2, got parents complaining that their child was too dark for them, which is okay, but look at the mm-hmm. age rating. <laughs> it's PG. PG. Parental yeah. guidance. Be a par- be, what, be with your parents, but um, but no, I love my soldiers, my sons, and I love the bit when Soren just kills off Metal Beak. It's so awesome. And I actually yeah, noticed nothing... that um, sequel, sequel, but they say when Metal Sorn's about to defeat Metal Beak. Mm-hmm. I want like... sequel, 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 sequel. Actually, uh, actually, here's the thing. Uh, do you actually realize that the that the song, you know, My Soldiers, My Sons, if if you will just hear the end, the choir actually will say you can hear them saying sequel a lot. <laughs> Do you realize that? Yeah, you can actually. That sequel, sequel. Da, 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 da. I hope we get a sequel. And um, but yeah, it's um, so good. And mm-hmm. do you have anything else to say about the final battle track? Because we're about to move on to the next, the the finale track. Yeah, number thirteen. Yeah, but um, all right. I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Oh boy, we have the final, the finale. Mhm. Okay, so what do I think of more baggy wrinkles? Um, I don't even want to talk about it because I'm actually enjoying talking about the soundtrack. <laughs> um, 
this one is definitely oh by the way that theory i have um yeah i was about to was remind you of it your ones naira for as we know when i escaped um what if um a guardian actually managed mm -hmm. to actually uh get naira what if well nowhere not a guardian killed off naira but they just kept it as a secret they were that would just suck hmm? that that sucks as, uh, as far as i know that sucks i don't know but sure it's, sure it's better than i suppose it's better than saying that oh she's alive that's kind of a sequel set up yeah but um i like her she's a really damn good villain um uh-huh yeah but um she, she, she... She's even braver than, she's even braver than Surtur himself. Yeah, true. She yeah. actually went out fighting without, with no gear at all, with no, no armor, no battle cost. That's it. Just goes out like that. She doesn't even get hit in the movie. Yeah, it's Just... like one of those, you know. It's like she's like uh, one of those o o you know two op characters, in in like every movie, you know. Yeah. Like. Too o overpowered. True. And Helen Mirren does a great job playing Naira. Like, they all <laughs> yeah. do a great job playing the characters. And, um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, but more baggy wrinkles. Um, that was just the theory, by the way, about, like, Naira being killed by a guard. Mm -hmm. got all, we don't know, but they probably will bring her back in a sequel. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a really damn awesome track. It really shows that oh my god, we did it. We defeated the, the yeah, villain. Yeah, he she def he defeated the them. And it yeah. shows that um, Mike Soren's really happy with himself that he won. And yeah. um, I like how. But then um, Soren tells yeah, a story. Like, uh -huh. um, like they're finished. But then in the game, if you actually play the game uh, in like towards the end where uh like i mean the game is not it's, it's not canon and all but when shard finally kills alamir which is not canon okay let me just remind you this uh he meets up with israel he told everything and then israel said like like shard asked like is this it the the, the pure ones are gone like, and then israel said Defeated, perhaps, but not gone. So the true, like, but then again, yeah. like we only saw like five pure ones like come back. <laughs> but um, they, they had some heavy losses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had some heavy losses, general, and now. But some... I'd say in a sequel they'll probably do something like, oh, and Iris talk with the pure ones, and then Claude comes out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. But um but yeah, um more baggy wrinkles, absolutely amazing soundtrack. Um yeah. what have you got to say about it? Like, you know, it it, it it really does give you like they did it, they won, you know, and then like the towards the end when they were uh how do you say it? When they were God, what's the word? I don't know, when they were revealed called as guardians i guess yeah they're confirmed as guardians like, you know when they as young came. guardians Whoa. um like but um but yeah what a fantastic finale and then of course it ends mm -hmm. off with the main theme which is quite cool and then easel where it's going to be full of baggy wrinkles and then Obviously, you can make a joke where Soren like flies off, and then you could say, "Well, so well, and probably James will probably say this." Well, Soren was never found ever since. Oh, God probably damn it! Someday he will. You can see that happen. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, 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 I do think I do, I do think he's gonna do that. He probably if he is here. Again, he probably, if he does like watch it again for its eighth anniversary, which I doubt it, but maybe, but he might just say, "Well, Soren was never found." Yeah. So at the very end of the commentary, 
He he says happy anniversary to Ben Ramsey. <laughs> what the f- Who's Ben Ramsey? <laughs> yeah, you know the YouTuber who said he hadn't seen Legend of the Guardians. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the one who did the How to Train Your Dragon trailer reaction, but um, yeah, um, Ben Ramsey, if you're watching this, by the way, miss you. Um, hope you're doing well. Um, but um, yeah. but yeah, um, more baggy wrinkles. Great finale, but now we can talk about um Claude. Uh oh, mm. and you wanna know who Melvick is in the box? Claude. Surprise? Not really. Not really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like how do you say it? like uh it really you can see it coming in the movie, you know? He's still alive and then you know, she just like he looks like Metal Beak's mask and everything he just Red eyes, like you would know that if, like, when a sequel comes out, if a sequel comes out, he would be the next leader of the PO. The way you said it was so laughable. The next leader of the pure ones. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, but I like um, I love the final mm-hmm. shot with Claude. It kind of annoys me that it's still not resolved. Um, yeah, but um, I like um, I love how like, but then again, you could also make a theory up that saying, "Oh, Soren could just be making that up. That could be in his own point of view." But I hope not. That actually is really good. Oh wow! Yeah. But what? Yeah. What if? Uh, I do. Yeah. Um, oh, like. Dang. He, you know, he like he was, you know, he is like telling a story to, uh, to towards Pete and the other owls. They are out, the other owls, you know. Oh, and maybe no, just making it. Yeah, <laughs> like he just his he, uh, he just making it more like, uh, how do you say it? Like, god damn it, my my English is really bad. Uh. We're the outlets begging for more stories. Oh, come on, there must be more. Must be more. Yeah, yeah, there must be more. Oh man, I have to be. Speak up, Claude. My name is Claude. There, that's better. Remember, uh-huh. it's for the lower species. But um, oh, I've got a really bad cold. Um, but yeah, um, I love, I love. Overall, I'm gonna give my concluding thoughts. I'll I'll let you start off anyway. What are your thoughts on the film itself and the soundtrack? The movie is really good. It is like uh, I don't know if there's actually other movies like Legend of the Guardians. Rio, but for me, Legend of the Guardians. Kind what? of. Rio has a similar plot where they can't fly. Oh yeah, yeah, but then. Like for me, Legend of the Guardian is Legend of the Guardians is the only uh violent movie not aimed for adults only, but also aimed for kids. You know. It, yeah, but the kids aren't really the main audience, though. If you think about it. <laughs> speaking of before. speaking of the speaking of one of the parents uh, saying that his girls went up screeching through the theater, <laughs> which is actually in. The run to marry itself, if you go through that. Yeah, but um, but yeah, I'll, I'll give my thoughts as well. I love the movie, an outstanding masterpiece, and I know James is probably mm-hmm. gonna make a meme out of me saying that. <laughs> he always takes the piss out of me. Legend of the Guardians is an outstanding masterpiece of cinema. Yeah. Probably, but it is though, in all fairness. <laughs> he probably will though, so make a beam out of it. Yeah. But um, but no um, yeah, that's all I have to say about um the movie. If you want to hear more, you can watch my review, which I did a while back in March. Jesus Christ, I can't believe it's been that long. Who? It doesn't even feel that long since my review or since the year started. Uh. It doesn't even feel that long since last year started. Uh-huh. By the way, uh do you know the you know the the song in when Sauron was flying through the fire, you know, by Lisa Gerard? 
Oh, you mean the host of Seraphim and Coming Home? Yeah, oh, host I'll of Seraphim. About, yeah, I'll talk about those two tracks. Um, very Irish um vibe, uh, music. They're really Celtic, but the one that Celt- beats Celtic, me, um, Celtic. To sorry, Celtic. I think I don't know. Maybe yeah, maybe it's, it's pronounced Celtic or Celtic. I I don't know. But um, yeah, but they get blown out of the water from to the sky. Um, mm-hmm. what a powerful song! I love Al City. Round of applause. Yeah. Uh, better than all the shitty pop singers that we're getting nowadays that just say yo 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like when I heard the song, it really gives you the like how to say it, like the vibe of like. You just flying through the air, you know. Yeah. Like oh, by when the I... way, um, which at the beginning of this video, um, you get to listen to my own vocal cover of uh my, me singing the song. <laughs> Be prepared for a uh, real, real laughing, but um. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, I want to do it. For you guys, uh, for you guys watching this. If you uh, if you don't if you are feeling annoyed, please get out now. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna sing it now. It'll be at the beginning of the video, like the final product. The begin on. Oh, no. Well then, I don't. Well then, I suppose the the correct word to use is be prepared. Be prepared. Well, it's probably gonna be in the beginning of the video, so hope you enjoyed yeah. it. Um, but um, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I might actually, but um, yeah, but um, to the sky, fucking beautiful song. Um, I love the movie yeah. as a whole, but um, you know what really pisses me off? Teen fuckers fuck up the movies has a higher rating than that's a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, ninety-one percent. Horrendous. Yeah, I like, still I've don't know. Do a movie that bad? Uh huh. Like, like, I've never, like, like, what, like, why the fuck would you make teen fuckers instead of a sequel? And then, of course, you have um, Lewis and the Alien. It's just like, yeah. why, why that and not a sequel? Like, Lewis and mm-hmm. the Alien just looks fucking awful. Lewis and the Alien, I doubt it would get uh, a good review. Like, seriously. I'll only review it if Harry Thomas reviews it, or unless we decide, mm. that, oh, maybe we'll watch it. Yeah, but maybe, yeah, but... but then again, Teen Titans, ninety-one percent. What? That's as high as the How to Train Your Dragon movies. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. How does that work? Ivan, grab my vodka. Like, <laughs> it's like what? An anima gave it a seven. Well, at least he gave Legend of the Guardians a higher score. Mm-hmm. Well, like, uh, I'm gonna. Actually... Like Teen Titans Go, it's just a horrible movie. It is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> I don't care if someone's gonna say, "Oh, yeah. but it's a," ri-. and then, "Oh, I got a comment." Wait, wait, wait. You know wait, wait, wait. Do you remember? Do, do, you, do you remember the time? The time where uh, where we were talking, and then Jaden said in the movie. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh. That's where the from. Yeah, I was, I was like, whoa, 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 what? And I was like, I was like, I was wheezing the whole way. If you, if you don't know. Oh, have you? Like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, I have to screenshot. Oh, I have to screenshot that. The bit. Have you seen the James Channel review for Team Titans Go? No, no. Oh, hang on. It's so funny where it, it like goes. It's having your own movie, but um, I'll I'll screenshot the rest of it like someday maybe. But hang mm-hmm. on, um. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, but like the small foot movie, it, it looks actually oh. messy. Like, maybe it'll be good. The animation looks beautiful, but Shining just... Tatum, really? <laughs> and like, then of course, um, I got, yeah, have you seen the video where it's like some guy in small foot singing? Uh, no, I haven't watched uh, small foot yet. I will watch it though. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a watch, obviously. But I'm not gonna say, oh, it sucks. But I think I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. too hard on it. But like, come yeah. on, like, what you can do better. I know. 
But um, but no, I remember got a comment off someone. I said, Owl City has better songs than a guy comment saying, oh, that has nothing to do with this video. And I go, yeah, but it's a better song. He has better <laughs> songs. And he goes, then I started telling him, oh, Legend of the Guardians 2 should happen instead. And he actually said, it's ridiculous how you want a sequel more than an original idea and the sequel would feel so pointless. And I actually remember <laughs> that person. What? Oh, <laughs> Legend of the Guardians. Wow, what a guy. Oh, he said he saw it, but he completely forgot it exists until I brought it up. Me me too. Me me too. I actually for, I actually like completely forgot the movie like uh somewhat in twenty twelve or twenty twenty thirteen. Like up until I uh, you know, I was playing my phone, you know, watching music. So I passed on Fireflies, which I thought was in a movie. I was like Oh wait, isn't it the song from that owl movie? God, what's it called though? I'm gonna search it. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, but like I just like I don't get like I I get that yeah some people don't want a sequel but like come on look at the end and oh, come on something. yeah the ending it's a cliffhanger you know. Yeah exactly, and then of course I know that like Animal Logic did the visuals but wait. Mm -hmm. Animal is it like with art? You know, Chicken Run. You know, that's a DreamWorks movie, but I think DreamWorks just distributed it, and and Iron Man made it. Oh, oh, Chicken Run. Yeah, I know that the movie. A sequel, and that came out. Two, yeah, in twenty twenty. In twenty twenty, I think. Yeah, like, I I I rem I remember watching the movie, but I couldn't remember how the story goes. <laughs> It basically, oh, I love chicken run. Basically, you have. I think it was like the chickens and... were given to eat, and then they would be cut up and then put in the pies. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> I love chicken run though. It is so good. Yeah. Now I have to admit, I do think the sequel is very, very unnecessary. I don't see the need, but I'm excited. Like I hope it's good. Like I hope it's at least an mm -hmm. enjoyable ride, but. But do you think um, we'll get a Happy Feet 3? Oh, about that. Uh, I don't know. I think it's less likely because uh, I've seen a video. I said, no, not a video. Uh, like a website on Google once. Like I was searching, will there be a Happy Feet 3? And it shows up like when I, it shows up, it shows up in like an interview of, the creator uh, of the director uh, who's the director again george miller yeah george miller he was being interviewed and he said that if someone put a held a gun to his head and told him to make happy Feet three he'd answer like just pull the trigger because he actually because he ran out of ideas for happy for a next happy see feet that with the second one though and all that. like i don't see the need like mm -hmm. i think happy v2 kind of ended off nicely i don't think yeah. there was a need for a sequel in the first place honestly like it is a great movie i think both mm -hmm. of them are fantastic i love them um yeah. i think oh, wait. um happy feet 3 is kind of like a rio 3 where both uh -huh. movies just kind of end at a two but then again rio yeah. is better than the ice age movies uh, wait Wait, uh, do you know actually? Do you know that Hugh Jackman was actually supposed to be in, in Legend of the Guardians? Yeah, he but he refused. To play um, Twilight. He played um, Roddy in uh, Flushed Away. Yeah, I know. And he's but... in The like, Showman, which I still have yet to review. Which I I will review. Me too. Actually. I haven't watched it. Hmm. I I haven't watched it as well. Oh, it's a it's a very good movie. There's great acting. In the I will though. I will watch it though. It is a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I, I recommend it. Um, mm -hmm. it's a good. It's great. It's got. I think my I, I do have a few issues like the main character focus just it doesn't make sense. All oh, cuts from Mr. Boron then to Zac Efron's character. I'm just like, come on, mm -hmm. like who is the main character? Like what? <laughs> and of course, I thought like um, I feel like um. I can't I think um so I think there is a bit I don't like the idea of um oh I don't know, I'll have to rewatch it again to think of more issues, but I'd give it an eight. Um I think it has um 
great songs, great like characters and great like a nice story. It's not the best yeah. movie I've seen that's of the year. We rate the stars goes to Incredibles two so far, which I thought mm-hmm. I loved. Are you seeing Spider Man into the Spider Verse? Yes. Yes. Oh, I can't wait. That looks fucking amazing. There is actually like Spider Man into the into the Spider Verse. Uh, I think like there is actually uh, an adaptation from the cartoon series itself because like I haven't watched the episode the, the episode yet, but I've, I've seen, seen videos Spectac- on YouTube. Like, I've seen Spectacular Spider Man season one, and that was good. I still have yet to see season two. But have huh. you seen um, My Babysitter's a Vampire? You know that Disney Channel show that used to be on TV. My bait. What? Hang on. You know, have you? Hang on. Let me. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Hang on. Let me look it up. It was a Disney Channel series which got cancelled after season two. And you want to know something that also had a cliffhanger? What? My bait resort is a vampire and spectacular Spider-Man season two. From what I heard. <laughs> this series. Oh, that. Yeah, it used to be on TV. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna. Oh, have you seen James Channel's description? Just another one of those random YouTube channels you see every day. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> have you seen just, Kinder Just Boy a random Marvel? channel. Yo, know, actually, I've heard screenshots of Teen Titan. Teen fuckers fuck up the movies. Rat review. It is so. This bit is so funny. Uh, I haven't watched. I I haven't watched uh, the whole movie. Uh, the no, no, the whole review. Yeah, but li- hang on. Listen, listen. It's why so is funny. everything? Why is everything green though? That's my question. Oh, that is actually yeah. But for the rest of it, isn't really. I actually left a comment asking. Like, why is everything green? And he said, I don't know. Like, it, like it, like it's in the comments. Yeah, I know. I'll have a look later. I, I've seen it, but have you seen this bit? It's having your own movie. Yeah. Dun, dun. Uh, oh, no. It just cuts to this. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, um, yeah, and then there's... Um, Harry Thomas even brought up the whole uh, team fuckers. Um, mm-hmm. I'll screen share. Um, you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Hang on, team Titan, bro. Um, that's payback, James. That's a payback, James. He's actually from yeah. England, which isn't far from Ireland. What? Yeah, he's not far from Ireland, actually. He's from England. Oh. Yeah, uh, yes, um... the nun. Yeah, see that right there, 91%. Yeah, but listen. That's my most controversial and unpopular opinion in this entire video. I'm aware everybody loved Deadpool 2 except me. If you love it, uh, 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 that's awesome. As for Teen Titans go to the movies receiving a 91 freaking percent. He actually mentions Legend of the Guardians. That uh, almost made me done with Rotten Tomatoes uh, in general. Movies like Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahu are just... Gahu. <laughs> Gahu. Gahu. <laughs> the, British, the British accent. Gahu. A, a 91% score at that. And like Gahu, and even James say that. The Owls of Gahu. Yeah. Gahu. A guy actually, a, a guy actually uh, mispronounced Gahu as Gahu. I was like... <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I, I went, have you see Jeremy Jones? Uh, I thought uh, I was gonna say, "Oh, Legend of the Guardians, the Owl of Gay Hole," and it sucked. But wait, I was like, no. <laughs> it's like that—that's that—that's not—that's not how you pronounce it, boy. 
<laughs> the owls of gay hole. <laughs> that is not the way how you pronounce it. It's pronounced gahul. I know. Learn. I'm like, Jesus, dude. And then he goes, get it? Uh-huh. Gay hole. And I can see like the joke happening, but it's not yeah. that funny. But um, but yeah, um, that's all I have to say about um. I'm about to end this uh stream. I can still chat. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold on. Uh, how do you rate Legend of Guardians? Ten. Ten. Why? I just think it's perfect. I think it's absolutely outstanding. Mhm. I would rate it eight. Why? Because. Number one, uh, because of two reasons. One, uh, the guy, you know, I think, like that, they try to mash in three books, and usually when you try to adapt a, you know, a story of multiple books, uh, it it's, it it just doesn't work out. You know, like the yeah, characters I, get lost, the plots agree. changed. Yeah, and number two, why I give it an eight? Because I want a sequel. It will get a ten when it gets a sequel. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratings changed. Um, but yeah. Um, mm-hmm. All right, we're about to end this uh, broadcast, and we shall see you next time. Now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> ah!